All right, all right, what is going on, lovely ladies and gentlemen? I was not planning on doing a video, but it seems like Saturday is a pretty boring Evo day. <laughs> Ooh, unless you like Smash, I mean, you know, what's going on right now is Marvel, Smash, and Guilty Gear, and, uh, yeah, I mean, Guilty Gear's kind of, like, I'm kind of letting it run. Unfortunately, I'm not letting it run right now, because apparently Flash Player interferes with the capture, which is a really fucking weird thing to do. But yeah, when I finally closed off the streams and killed Flash Player, it started working again, because it wasn't working before, which is really fucking weird. But anyway, uh, I'm kind of watching, I'm kind of, sort of paying attention to Guilty Gear, just because I would like to see, uh, you know, some upsets. I want to see Ogawa get bodied. I want to see Nakamura get bodied, but unfortunately, they have been very heftily doing the bodying they are oh boy they're, they're they're clearing shop right now they are destroying everybody they run into so anyway i had some questions actually that i figured need some answering so obviously i'm not coming here to play yet i'll tell you why in a moment but like i said i got some questions so let me begin searching real quick this wow there were like three times as many rooms an hour ago that's weird all right so anyway now, as you can see right here, we have one connection showing, right? That seems to happen every single time. I've never seen more than two connections being shown, regardless of how many lobbies are here. But, that's where the question comes in. No matter how long I sit here, if I let this rock for the next two hours, it will stay here, and it will never update the delay for anybody else's shit. It will just sit here. And, well, that happens. For some, like, it'll update the, uh, the rooms. So, like, if somebody closes a room, like what happened right there, the room cannot be found. If somebody joins or leaves a room, it will properly update how many people are in the lobby. But it will never update the delay. It will never update what the connection is. And so, this is basically the crux of my question. Because I assume most of the people that got this game probably got the PS3 version. So I want to know if these same issues that I am having, you are having, because this is the PS4 version, just a quick little bit of backstory, obviously I did not buy this game. Uh, I got, I looked it up on Gamefly to see if they had it, and unfortunately the only versions Gamefly got were the Xbox One versions and the PS4 versions, they did not get the PS3 version. And so because of that, obviously, I have to get the PS4 version. Unfortunately, Arc System Works could not be asked to add the Lab Zero Games driver to their fighting game, which, if you don't know what that is, Lab Zero Games, the developers of Skullgirls, developed a driver for the PS4 which allowed you to use PS3 inputs. Uh, PS3 devices, I guess, would be the proper uh, utilization in terms of how the PS4 designates stuff. So... That allowed people to you if you installed the if the developers of a game included the Lab Zero Games driver, you would be able to use PS3 sticks on PS4 games. Arc System Works didn't include that, so my only option is to use this wonderful DualShock 4 pad, which is not going wonderfully. But anyway, so that's why I have the PS4 version because GameFly did not have the PS3 version. So this is my only choice. And so I was wondering, so number one, you have this going on, like I said, I mentioned this, where it's just not updating connections, and the worst part too is they changed lobbies around, I don't want to join any of these, because they all look like lobbies that will not welcome me in the first place, but there's no way to see connections once you're inside the actual room, there's, n and there's nothing that I have seen, like it'll give you a list of players that are in the room, but it doesn't give you any information about that player, including... Uh, what their connection might be to you. So, like, it's a crapshoot right there. So, obviously, well, then we have this. Oops, not that shit. We don't want to go there. We have this shit, but this is weird, too, right? Like, you come here, see all these people. The moment you join, it shows everybody that is not currently involved in a battle. It is not currently involved in a match. It shows them at a four-bar connection immediately. So, like, again, if I want to sit here and try and find a good connection, I have to sit here and wait and hope that it updates eventually and so again this is what i'm considering is like for all of this shit is this um is this like how guilty gear was at the beginning where if you remember guilty gear never showed connections correctly let me leave because i don't want anybody to accidentally like notice me and try to challenge me to a match because that'd be bad because i'm not ready to play yet but if you remember guilty gear when it first came out it had a bug where any cross-platform connections 
were listed as four bars. Now that's not the same thing that happens there because if the people that are listed as four bars enter a match then leave a match, the game the will properly update what their connection to me actually is. But that's just really irritating that like I can't hop in, see connections right from the get go and hop straight into a match. I gotta sit there and wait for connections to update or I just gotta you know roll the dice and hope that I get a good connection from, from the start and that's not like it's really that's really bugging me that prospect of like I really have no idea what I'm getting into I don't it doesn't look like the connections are actually that uh, reliable what they list as the connections aren't reliable or even you know most of the time they're not even listing connections and that's really scaring me in regard to this net play so I just wanted to know like if this if people are having the same kind of problems when it comes to the PS3 version that being said let's discuss things that aren't problems I am really impressed with this game's challenge mode. I've been doing a little bit, not a lot, because my execution is terrible. So you remember from the previous video, I have run back to the familiar. I've gone with Asriel, and that decision was made off of one very simple fact. Asriel has no DP motions. He has no DP motions in his arsenal whatsoever. That is literally the reason why I went back to him instead of anybody else is because he has zero DP motions I am t I mean my execution to begin with is just bad let me my execution was so bad and it was so infuriating from the get-go because like I said I'm using pad right now I almost gave up within the first like 15 minutes of trying to play this game because I could not do any I couldn't do quarter circles couldn't do half circles double quarter circles DP motions all that shit was beyond me I've gotten a lot better now, like I haven't had as much time as I would like to sit down and play this game unfortunately because uh, real life stuff you know is always occurring and some things happened that were far more important than trying to work on my pad execution. So it's going a little bit slower than I thought but I'm definitely, I mean you know like before just in regards to Asriel, I was, ha I was really struggling in order to do the TCL motion because you know to do the TCL motion you need to do 2, 3, 6, then 4, 6, and then 6. And it was the 4-6 that was really getting me because uh, the controller's not that big. My hands, however, are quite big because, I, if you don't know, I'm six foot five. So, like, you know, controllers are not made for an average person of the six foot five height. Thus, uh, my thumbs are a little big for, you know, like, precision inputs on this tiny-ass D-pad. And so because of that, like, a lot of the times I'm kind of still... When I try to do 4-6, what ends up happening is that... I'm still kind of holding down six, so it just the game's just like, nope, you're holding down six, you get no four, it doesn't happen. And so because of that, I end up not getting the move, so I like I have to be really like I have to over exaggerate like where my thumb placement is in order to make sure I get that. So I'm getting better at it, I'm getting more consistent, but it's still not like I drop it a lot, like kind of in the when I'm not focusing specifically on I must get this motion correctly, when I'm just in the middle of a match and I'm just playing. You don't want to be sitting here focusing on your inputs. You just want the inputs to flow out of you. They, you want them to be natural. And right now they're not natural. So I'm dropping a lot of inputs. D, again, DP motions, I am terrible with. Absolutely god awful. Um, but so at the very beginning, when I first started this, you may have remembered me talking about, you know, like I want, I think I might want to just learn a new character. Like cast aside all the other characters. They're all boring now. I don't really care for them. Um, and so I was thinking about trying a new character. So the first character I thought about trying was Taukaka. Oh boy, was that a bad decision. I mean, you know, it, it took me very little time in order to sit down and really be like, I am not going to continue playing this game on pad, like, for the rest of my life. There is no way I'm going to stick to pad. Stick is a far, like, it's not, everything you can do on stick, you can do on pad. That being said, it's easier to do things on a lot of things on stick than it is on pad. It takes a lot more practice to get down certain things to the same level of precision uh, between the two kind of different kinds of controllers. So again, zero interest in sticking with pad. So why am I sitting here trying to like learn one of the most executionally demanding characters in the game on pad? That's ridiculous. So I cast her aside. Started to try to learn Hakuman, and then kind of the same kind of thing almost happened. Not really, but it was more along the... See, you can see I've done some of the challenges. It was more along the lines of... Uh, well, two things. Number one, certain things of his that got nerfed. I cannot believe they nerfed that shit. And I'm going to show you them real quick. But the first thing, it was just... You know, his me obviously Hakuman's meter is a lot different 
very different than everybody else's. He's constantly gaining it, uh, and all of his special moves consume some of that meter. And so, you have to be so Firefly. This shit is called Firefly? Really? I had no idea. I've, I've just always called it Hotaru. Um, so anyway. Shit, where was I at? Oh, so just the concept of that. The how just aware you need to be in regard to how much meter you have. Because that completely determines all of your combo route options. What you can do, what you can't do. Where you need to end your combos. How much damage you can get off of it. Then you also have to determine, you know, like, okay, I have the meter for this. But do I want to use it or do I want to save it? So, you know, do I want to cut my combo short or do I want to go all in and potentially use all my meter and be screwed uh, later on? You know, who know? you need to be so just naturally aware of how much meter you have. And again, it was kind of the same thing where I'm sitting here like, do I really want to put in that much effort to learn character specifics that are so vital to using this character in a game that I really don't care to learn all that much that being said that kind of may have changed a little bit uh due to watching the central fiction lope tests we'll i'll talk about that in a little bit but um anyway so basically the point being again do i really want to put in this much effort to learn a character because hakuman is not easy to learn you do have there's a certain subset of people that will tell you hakuman is one of the cheapest most easiest characters to use in the world because they get beaten solely by c moves but let me tell you you do not beat good players using only C moves. If you are getting beaten by a Hakuman that is only using C moves, you need to get some insight into your issues in regard to your own gameplay, because that is, you should not, nobody should be losing to that. Just say it's so like Hakuman is not an easy character to learn. Um, but then again, like stuff that he nerfed, oh my god, I got the DP, holy shit, I got the DP motion on the first try. I'm amazed. So this shit, didn't, th that always used to be just, see, you can see I'm hold just holding up, I'm holding up the moment that hits. That always used to be 100% jump cancelable, right? Like, I'm not losing my mind here, that always used to be jump cancelable. So they nerfed that, that being said, it's not, I mean, it's a little false on counter hit doing that shit, but you can still, there's enough hit stun in it that you can still jump after it and get a hit. Uh, but the other thing, thing that really blew my mind is how badly they killed that move. They made in CP. They made it so number one, you can charge it, which you cannot do anymore. I am holding down the button. I guess this would be better to do in train. Well, it still doesn't show you that you're holding down the button, but still, you used to be able to charge this, and I believe cancel it. I can't remember, but you used to be able to charge it. It extended, and if you charge it up maximum, he would lunge forward a little bit, so it would kind of extend the range. Uh, but it was also special cancelable, which you can't do anymore. I am trying to again. This would be something that would be better shown. And can you actually change display challenge commands? I don't think that's what. Well, what I'm thinking. I guess you can't. That would be useful if they made it so you could actually see your inputs in this. But anyway, uh, so they made it so it's no longer special cancelable, and you can no longer charge it. And I have to wonder, like, did they like, did they think this move was that godlike? Did it need to be nerfed into the ground like that? Like that blew my mind. How badly they just murdered 4C. That was some merciless shit, man. That was heartless. He didn't deserve that. But anyway. So, but the reason why I'm actually here, you may be wondering, why the fuck did you pick this mission? You've done nothing to deter- to, uh, and determinate and whatever. You've made no point of this. All of the shit talk that I have done in regard to this game, its existence, all of that shit. Let's get- let's throw some positives out there. Man, they couldn't have designed- I just realized that was 4,443 damage. They couldn't have just tweaked it a little bit so it was 4,444? Come on, man. That's some shit developers should be putting time into. Well, let's watch that combo again. I am really impressed with their challenge mode this time around because, like, these are actually good combos. Like, th this is a very useful combo. That is... Hello, motorcycle. Some loud-ass shit. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go to number 19 as well. Um... But yeah, like that, I know that's a very common ender to be using in a corner, so, like, that's really cool that they're using that. Plus, you know, they're using the new Hotaru, which is awesome. Uh... Then this part right here, which is kind of useful. I mean, I don't think anybody's actually going to end up using Mugen in here. <laughs> like, that's a little overkill. A little bit, but, you know, the rest of it. Like, that's just, that's an awesome combo. Look at that shit. That's so cool. And then it's the same thing that made me, uh, 
the and one that initially made me realize this was actually Azreels, which you can see I haven't quite done them yet. I am struggling with uh, the air dash in this one. Not struggling with the air dash, but you know, properly timing the air dash into the JC and then the Hornet afterwards. Or no, not the Hornet afterwards, the uh, Valiant afterwards. But still, that right there, like that Hornet bit with the dash in there, let me just show you that again so you can pay attention to that specific part. Uh, back when I was actually, you know, seriously trying to play this game and actually thinking I'm going to start going to more tournaments and involve myself in the community again, which unfortunately did not happen. But that was the last thing I was working on. I kn That's a very useful route to know for Hornet because, unfortunately, it's kind of... When you actually try to do Hornet, uh, the, you know, JC, 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 J2C, that route is kind of unpredictable a little bit at times, but this route is not, again, I'm going to show it again because it's really cool. This route is not unpredictable at all, and it's something that, honestly, I feel like anybody that plays Azrael should learn how to properly do that. And so just see, that was the first challenge mode where I was like, holy shit, they actually put real combos in here, because previously... Uh, my, the way I always interpreted challenge mode was like, they kind of give you pieces of good combos, but they never really give you, like, a full good combo on its own. It was either like, see, and again, this shit right here, they're showing you the new Valiant Charger route. That's the optimal route now for Valiant Charger is 6B five times. Again, really impressed that they put that in there. Uh, there's one more. Bullet has a good one. I think it's Bullet's 18, it might be 19. But there's a jump loop. So we'll know. If I see the jump loop, then I know I'm on the right one. This is not the right one. Just avoid that real quick. See, so yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, like I said, the way I interpreted uh, challenge mode in all the previous versions, that 3C right there is absurd. That's ridiculous. I cannot believe, like, that is, that that's a challenge mode combo. Because that's actually, again, that's something that's actually useful. Because it side switches you in order to be able to use that wall bound special move. That is actually useful and viable. Um, and that's kind of what it used to be, where it's like, if you used to look at challenge mode combos, it was basically just, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? You either had pieces of good combos and like the early combos, but no like full good B&Bs, or you had just like absolutely ridiculous, let me show you what I'm talking about. Absolutely ridiculous, completely silly, just, not viable like counter hit or fatal counter combos kind of like this what i'm talking about right here this is something that honestly if i ever see this landed in a match i will be completely and utterly shocked like this is just not a, a combo that i think anybody will ever see ever in an actual match But so something like that right there, like that's what it used to be, you know, just nonsense fatal counter combos. What was his 18? Let me remember this. I need to figure out a solution to his 20. Oh, this shit. See, like this, this is another one. This is actually a worthwhile combo right here. Well, kind of take that back. A worthwhile combo right up until the side switch, because you don't want to, I mean, you're that close to the corner. You don't want to let your opponent go full screen like that. That's actually a big nerf right there. It's a Magnet Tech Wheel. Well, Terra Break, obviously. It's not a nerf to Magnet Tech Wheel. But Terra Break sending them full screen and wall bounding instead of bouncing them back to you so you actually, you know, can run Oki off of that. That's a big bummer. Um, but anyway, so like I said, I just I wanted to give them a props to shit that deserves it. And I'm really impressed with their challenge mode this time around. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I have a lot of execution. You can see I've gone through some challenge mode stuff, but I'm having, I'm getting better, and I think I'm very close to being at a spot where I think like I can actually make matches worthwhile. Unfortunately, I wasted a ton of my time. Let me actually test this out real quick. Unfortunately, I wasted a ton of my time trying to do a combo, which apparently is character specific to only Jin or Izayoi. <laughs> Because I remembered seeing, I can't remember if it was an actual match, or if it was, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I actually need to get rid of that lower weak point. Um, see, now you're seeing the executional problems. Oops.
You can link uh, apparently against Jin and Izior. You can link. Oops. A two. You can link that into five A. Apparently, but apparently, like I said, that's supposed to only work on Jin and Izior, which is a. Me oh, the other thing I actually need to figure out. Apparently, you can also do. But yeah, like I wasted so much time trying to learn that because I remembered seeing that that you could combo off of a, a higher wall stick on TCL into two from 2D into 5A for a double weak point combo. I did not know that was character specific, so I wasted a shit ton of time on that nonsense. But the other thing, damn it! <laughs> Come on, man. Apparently that's supposed to work. There's no way that's gonna work. He texts so damn fast. There's no way. He texts way too fast. Like I, I read that that's supposed to work. That you're supposed to just be able to do that. Let me just mash it. I'm pretty sure that's about as fast as you can go. Okay, so that you can't. I'm really confused. Like, why would they put that down? Because it is incredibly. Like, there's no. That's not even close. That's not even close. Oops. Oh my god. Well, now I'm too close to the corner. See, now you're seeing what I'm talking about. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's. Maybe I missed that part that it was a uh, rapid cancel specific. That must be it, because you see how far away uh, he is when he does that. So it must be rapid cancel specific, um, rather than um, thinking like I thought. I thought when I had read it that you could just do it. That was close. Maybe after something like that. Oops. Let me try it off of this. Interesting. Maybe it's off of something like that too. Like if you have him airborne. Let me try to do that in a spot that is not quite. So, oops. I completely forgot what the fuck I was doing. Maybe I might have. I might have accidentally delayed that a little bit too far. Yeah! So you can't. Okay, so if they're either. You can either rapid cancel it like I did, or if you land it uh, on somebody, if you start really high. So that's really cool. That's useful to know. Um, anyway, but yeah, like I said, I wasted a ton of time trying to learn that 2D shit. Because I, I didn't know it was character specific. I thought you could just do it off of anybody. And I remembered that, you know, from a video, somebody had done that, and it didn't occur to me that, like, oh, I need to maybe it's character specific because that seemed like such a weird thing to be a character specific combo um but then i went to i finally you know i like started looking at combo videos i didn't find anything and finally i went to dust loop and looked at the combo thread looked through all the combos there was nothing referencing 2d except as an ender and then finally i got to the very end of the combo list and it's like you know character or situational specific or something like that jen and Izioi can be uh you can land a 2d in the corner and link into 5a and i was like oh on two characters totally useful so uh unfortunately i wasted a lot of potential practice time right there i think i do i don't know why that rapid didn't come out something like that not that why is that not working on there it is, yeah, like that shit. So you see me dropping that right there. But that's something's very well, not that. That's not what I meant to do. Ha! <laughs> I might need to work on Tiger Knee stuff too. Oh wow, I must need to work on Tiger Knee stuff. That's actually something I had real issues with. I'm having the same issues with it because back when my stick first broke. Mario! 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 
back when my stick first broke, that was something I was having a lot of issues with, was actually Tiger Knee and stuff. So anyway, as you can see, like that that's why I haven't uh, gotten into any actual matches, but hopefully very soon I'm getting there. I'm having a lot of downtime during EVO, where, you know, like between matches I just do some stuff. I've been playing Abyss Mode a lot, um, which I need to stop doing, because unfortunately, Abyss Mode I feel like is a really bad mode to uh, play in if you're, if you're using your main once you get far enough because like there's four bonus stuff there's four uh stats you can build up in abyss mode attack defense um meter gain and speed and speed's the only one that's actually bad like nobody's gonna go into abyss mode with your character with like 300 extra attack going this combo did 14,000 damage in abyss mode why am i only getting 2k here like nobody's gonna be confused about that but speed actually alters uh, how fast you walk, and I, I think, I'm not sure if it alters your jump at all, but it does alter your air dash, and it also eventually, I think once you get high enough, starts giving you an additional air dash or an air jump. And so that kind of thing can actually really screw you up, can really screw up your timing with your main, so like, I need to, you know, I got, I did get some benefits from it, like, I didn't really, I wasn't really using Gustav at all when I was working on stuff, in like in neutral or in blocks. Uh, block strings or anything which is obviously terrible like Gustav is one of Azrael's best moves that's something you want to be using but I ended up getting this uh, bonus thing whatever they're called that made it so all special moves actually um, guard broke so anybody that wasn't using barrier in a block string if I used a special move on, on them and guard broke and gave me a free combo and once I got that I was like oh I need to really start abusing Gustav like that's too good and it gives me a guard break now so that finally kind of broke me out of not really using special moves in any way, shape, or form outside of combos. Uh, so, I mean, there are some benefits to it, but mostly, usually, it can actually kind of screw you up. But yeah, so I have been working on stuff and I'm getting there. And like I said, I almost feel like I'm at a place where I can actually make a fight out of it now. So hopefully, soon I will start giving you some matches. I hope you guys are enjoying EVO. Uh, watching all the fun matches I've been kind of, I can't remember if I mentioned this I've kind of been paying attention to Guilty Gear hoping some of the Japanese gods might get upset but it hasn't been happening yet so anyway peace out hope y'all have a good day